Yo, what's good guys? Say in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how uh to do a CC ball action uh that I had in the back of my edits. Um so what you're gonna wanna do is you're just gonna wanna import your clip or whatever. Uh, I got Miles Morales here. Uh, I'm just gonna turn off the audio. So you're just gonna wanna find the part where you want. Uh I'll just use this part. Um for this tutorial, I'm not gonna really need to pre-compose, but I'll just do it anyway. Uh, so I'll just put this, um, and then you're just gonna wanna go down, pre-compose, uh, make sure this is turned on. And once you've done that, um, you're gonna wanna uh, adjust your clip. So make sure it's like somewhere, like it covers the whole screen. So this doesn't go all the way like here. So his head doesn't get cut off uh, right here. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're just gonna wanna go back, make sure this is on full, uh, duplicate this layer, and go to the beginning. And what you're gonna wanna do is you're just gonna click this, click the rotor brush right here, and double click here, and then you're just gonna wanna mask out your character like this. It doesn't have to be perfect, uh, like that. And then uh, you could fix all the minor uh, mistakes here, like right there. And you're just going to press spacebar and let it render. Once it's done rendering, you can put this back to a quarter if you want. So your thing, your computer doesn't lag as much. And when you get rid of the bottom layer, uh, you can see that it's fully cut out uh, right here. So, uh, yeah, it's propagating. So if it's a load. Uh, so, yeah, that's what it looks like. And what you're going to want to do after is you want to duplicate the bottom layer. Uh, so you're going to have your mask uh, character. You're going to have... Uh, the background and you're gonna have the another background uh, you're just gonna wanna go over here click CC ball action and drag it to the middle layer and what you're gonna wanna do is you're just gonna go up to scatter keyframe at the beginning and then go to like the second and last keyframe right here and then you're gonna wanna make sure that scatter is all the way at 1024 just like that and you're gonna wanna highlight these keyframes press F9 go to the graph um i like to have the graph like start fast at the beginning you don't want to have it like too extreme so i recommend like like that should be good uh so it starts off like this and uh if you want uh th there's no way to change the color the, uh, the color matches your um uh your uh, background so uh yeah that's how you add cc ball action on uh, your clip in After Effects. Hope you guys enjoyed.